Okay, basketball families, now that you know the different positions on the floor, let's talk about the responsibilities of each position. We're going to start with the point guard position. If your child plays point guard, then he has certain responsibilities. His main responsibilities are to first handle the rock and set the offense. Now, what do I mean by handle the rock? Well, rock is just another term for basketball. And I'm going to use a lot of basketball terminology because that's going to help the game be more enjoyable to you and help you understand more about what's going on. Now, the point guard, as you can see, comes down the floor. His job is to make sure we have proper balance, make sure everybody is in their correct position before he initiates the offense, okay? He is the general on the floor. He has to control the offensive set and make sure he get the job done. Now, this is a good screen done over here by these players. Four sets a good screen for two. Two makes the back cut. The point guard has to recognize that and has to do his best to make that pass, okay? So, if the point guard makes that pass, that doesn't mean that he can't shoot it if he's open. However, point guard's first responsibility is to get other players involved. Point guards are not selfish at all. They are more excited about getting everybody else involved and scoring is not the first thing on a point guard's mind. However, a point guard that can shoot is a great asset. But the main purpose, or I should say one of the main purposes of the point guard is to get back and keep defensive balance. He has to get back on defense to protect the basket until his guys can get back and get in the mix with him, okay? Now, what do we mean by getting back and protecting the basket? That simply means that the point guard is in the best position to help maintain defensive balance, okay? His job is to get back and protect the basket until his guys can get back and recover. As you can see here, these guys got to hustle back and get back on defense to create great balance. Now, let's talk about making good decisions with the ball. What exactly does that mean? That means the point guard's responsibility is to get the ball to the right person in the right spots at the right time. Here in this offensive set, this point guard is already thinking and making decisions in terms of where is the good pass going to be after he receives the ball. He has to see the entire floor. He has to see all of his players and understand his players' strengths and weaknesses, okay? So here, he's about to get the ball. He sees 55 in the paint. He's open, and he sees 41 is open out here in the corner. 55 is the best place to make this pass, and here's why. If he makes this pass, this defense is going to collapse on him, number 55, and that's going to open up great shots for these guys out here on the perimeter. So, 55 decides to make the pass over here in the corner. That is also a great pass because now this guy can shoot it if he's open or he can pass it back inside to the post player. All these good things took place because the point guard made the right pass at the right time and that was a great decision. Now, we've discussed maintaining defense. So now we're going to move on to the responsibilities of the shooting guard.